Morning, legends. So this morning, we've got a bit of a different one. We're leaving the car park behind the town hall uh, here in the village of Grasmere. And we're doing an in and out, one peaker. It is Stone Arthur. It's one that we missed out on the Furfield Horseshoe last year. So it needs to be tagged. And then I'd have finished everything in this area then. So we can uh, concentrate in the summer on some uh, different spots. So. We'll take you along with this one. Might be a more of a family friendly one, this. Park it, grass meal. And uh, in and out, five kilometres. Take the kids, take the dogs. And uh, might be a bit more fun for some of us. So yeah, we'll bring you back near the top of the road. Beautiful. Spring is sprung, eh? Says Helm Crag, the famous lion and the lamb. And just to the right of it, Steel Fell. I've done those there on the uh, channel, I'll link them. But we're carrying on. Got this stone half to tick off. Right, so you go past the back of the swan, follow the road up with the waterfalls on your right hand side and you get to a fence. We're going to go through this fence. I'm just going to go and open it now for Debbie as she's struggling. Oh, she's got it. We're going to go through this and we're going to turn left to a stone Arthur. Thank you. So here we go. Here's the sign. Straight up to Alcock Tarn. But we're hooking a left up this path to Stone Arthur. So sometimes these fall smaller fells can be deceiving because if you get all around here, look at these steps. Now that is steep. So we're going to take our time, bod our way up up these uh, stone steps. You get this gap in the wall, we're gonna take a right and keep heading up. So, I'll be 100% honest here. 
Um, I've seen this peak, Stone Arthur, only from the, the Fairfield Horseshoe. And when you look down at it, you think, why is that on the waiting right? Who, like, it's mind blowing when you're up there thinking, why is Wainwright picked this to be on his 214 peaks? But when you walk this way from Grasmere as a in and out, you can see why. It's a real steep pull. It's stunning, stunning views. I'll just flip you around. If I zoom in here, you'll be able to see all the little sheepy sheeps in a line walking up the hill. White sheep. <laughs> They're cool little things, aren't they? Alfred Wainwright, mate. Knew the score, didn't he? Right. There's a final. Here we go, this path going up. You just see my big sister there, Deborah. Final push to Stone Arthur. You can just see these Dale Tarns coming to view now. So you've got Helm Crag uh, on the right hand side of the tarn. It's like the tarn rig and the blue rig's the left hand side of the tarn, which we did yesterday. And just in the clouds beyond that is your PVR Caris and Stickle. So yeah, some stunning views from up here. So we've got high enough now that if we zoom in we should just see Alcock Tarn, which will be another walk I'll have to do when in and out on. Uh, yeah. Wild camp. Wild camp maybe, yeah. Yeah, so about three quarters of the way up, it just becomes quite boggy. Um, views are great. But yeah, it becomes quite boggy, and this is a lot longer a walk than you think it's going to be. So that's one to, something to keep in mind. Oh, it's a good pull, it's a good bit of exercise. Um, probably go for a wild cam. But, uh, I'm sure I'll be back here sometime over the next few years for a wild cam. Once we get a few more Wayne Wrights in the bag. But we go again, we push on. Very cute sheepies. Zero interest. Yeah, so Stone Arthur is there, it says on the GPS and everything, but we've come up here to a higher point. Check this view out, which is unbelievable, to be honest. And uh, we'll go, we'll go and bag that now. But yeah, stunning, mate. Little sheeps love it. Sheepy fierce. There's Alcock Tarn. You can see it properly now from up here. Right, so yeah, let's head down to the actual summit of Stone Arthur, tag that, bag it, and get down. See what time it is. See if there's any work and get a pint.
So there you have it, 503 metres stone Arthur. And I wondered why this was included on Wayne Wright's 214 walks. Like I said before, after seeing it from the Fairfield Horseshoe, but when you stand here, it's apparent why it is. So it's definitely one to do. Definitely do it as in and out. I prefer to do it like this than on the Fairfield Horseshoe. So it's a big thumbs up from me. As I said at the start of the video, filming this is an in and out route. Um, you know, one you could come and do maybe in three hours with the family. But uh, to be honest, tough, like slog up this hill. So I wouldn't come with really young kids. You know, they'd have to be used to being outdoors and hiking. But, um, you know, it's doable. It's not like any real technical scrambling or anything like that. It's just a slog. But yeah, as I said, this is in and out. So I'll bring you back at the pub because it's just going to be the same as we came up on. So see you shortly, legends. Right, so we've made it down into Grassmere. That was around three hours in total, in and out to Arthur Stones. It was a lovely little walk and the sun's come out. So we're celebrating at Tweedies now with a pint. I've got the marble cherry stout. So we're going to give that a try. The view. Still the house behind us. Oh, it's stunning. Oh, it's 9.5. It's beautiful. Dark stout with that cherry underneath. So that's the end of this one. We had a bit of a change of scenery there, just the one Wayne right today, in and out, up and down. Um, but really enjoyable, a nice way to do it if you've got the time, just to pop out, hit one peak, and then come back. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.